Hello guys, it's your fellow investor here and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be talking about Infrax Systems Incorporated with ticker symbol IFXY. They're trading on the OTC markets, therefore you cannot get them on Webull or Robinhood. You'll have more luck getting it on Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, Interactive Brokers, E-Trade and such brokers who offer actually OTC. I'm gonna tell you what I found about this company, what they do, what is their mission, how they are up to date with us as investors, how it looks, what are the risks and positives and the potentials. But before we begin, I'd like to ask you if you could hit that beautiful red subscribe button and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm helps me out a lot and pushes this channel forward. With that being said, let's get into the company. As we can see on the 5 days chart, if we look at 5 days it's down 11.7% because today will be a little bit of correction but we shall see how it all turns out at the end. But overall there's been a correction for past days on the market and I wouldn't be surprised if this uh, penny stock would follow the trend of the market. So maybe that's a good time to look for penny stocks and invest in them when the, because when the market will turn green penny stocks will most likely excel. But now let's head into the company and see what they are actually doing. If we head into the company's profile and into the about section, we can see that uh, Block Capital Corp is a blockchain company formed to build ecosystems using distributive ledger technologies and trustless trust platform for all industries. Our mission involves introducing a trustless verification system with full transparency in the supply chain with decentralized blockchain verification at every step. Our technology has the potential to become one of the most used and valuable products in the fintech industry, potentially becoming ubiquitous across all industry participants. We also provide full stack ICO support for blockchain venture, empowering high tech crypto entrepreneurs and investors in order to create the next wave of highly innovative blockchain startups. Block Capital Corporation, through its business units, invests in crypto assets, provides blockchain technology consulting, ICO consulting services, tokenization of asset funds and IoT related intelligence and security based on blockchain. And if we head into their home page, we can see that they claim to be a blockchain future of fintech, they have some background animation, here we can see as already what I've said and here we can see just a list of cryptocurrencies and it seems like this website or this company just tries to put everything together from crypto statistics to crypto recent news, which might not be too bad if you're looking for some uh, website or a source of information. But it seems it's just like taking other websites and putting it into their web own website. So I don't know if this is actually legit. If we go into their blockchain section, we can see that they have just two videos here. I don't think it's even made by them. I haven't looked through them, but I would like maybe to see more text by them or information. When we go to their portfolio section, they say that they provide blockchain technology solutions, ICO consulting and services, crypto investment and IoT smart city development through Infrax Systems. Our current portfolio includes Infrax Systems and LaunchMyICO.io. And if we click on the Infrax Systems, it just sends us onto their homepage of the block capital. And if you try to click on launch my ICO, you cannot. It's just a text with a background. So if you copy it and paste it as a link and you press enter, you get nowhere. There's no website available. So this doesn't look very positive from my point of view. But let's check out their link, the LinkedIn account. Let's read something about them. Securing the changing world of energy. So Infrax Systems is a security and network, networking pure play, offering a series of Intel related operational management communications and grid security related products and service known as Secure Intelligent Energy Platform. Our products enable a comprehensive and unified solution for communications and applications management of the smart grid, CEEP. CIEP incorporates a wide array of communication, security, device and data management tools for smart grid applications such as advanced metering solutions and grid optimization. Infrax Secure Smart Grid Platform incorporates a communications transport known as Grid Mesh, device and data security management known as CRIM. The secure management of the last mile black hole will be necessary for utilities to implement smart grid applications including AMI and demand side management. 
Infrax, Infrax systems focused on providing secure two-way real-time communications network, hardware encrypted, communications chipset and grid intrusion management software for smart meters, intelligent devices and sensors. As we can see here is the same website, they have about 11 to 50 employees and they've been founded in 2004. But what kind of scares me is that here they are just uh, presenting themselves, let's say as a clean spark company who works with microgrids and such. But if you go into their website, the Infra Infrax Inc, as we can see it here, infraxinc.com, it's actually not at all what they have on LinkedIn. So it's not even up to date. I don't know what is more up to date, if it's the website or the or LinkedIn and if we head into their Twitter account we can see that they have been last active almost two, over two years ago two and a half years almost so that's not the best sign however there's been some news that they had to there was planning a reverse split but it has been cancelled and that they're starting buying back their shares and retiring shares from there so this doesn't look too trustable in my opinion but let's let's move on you know maybe there's something more which the company will get me uh, if we get into stock tweets uh, i've just wrote their symbol here they cannot find it so they might delete it, the stock because it's just very unknown or i have no idea maybe they've deleted for some reason it's hard to tell and if you move on to otc markets where most of the time i give you the unrestricted outstanding shares so we know the real facts we don't know it's not available and that's because there's a stop sign because there's no pink information and it means that pink no information companies may not be able or willing to provide disclosure to the public markets either a, to a regulator on exchange or otc markets group and that's a not good sign but you know, many times the companies which might not have the latest financials or, you know, latest data, they can still perform well, especially penny stocks, because they're very easily movable and people just go in, get like thousand percent and then jump out, you know, and thousand percent, it's not a lot, it's just from 0 0.001 dollar to 0 0.01 dollar, so it's not if you think about it, it's not that much and they don't have the biggest amount of outstanding shares but the date is from 31st of August from previous year so that's not even a sure thing if that there is that amount of outstanding shares. So there are many many question marks and many red flags around this one and the last nail to the coffin is that when you try to put their name of the company onto the Google it shows their address, however it says that it's permanently closed and I have no idea if that's because of Rona Rona or it's been before but uh, that's not the greatest sign either. So what do I think about this company? Well, the stock price is very intriguing, it's very interesting because it's one of the cheapest penny stocks I've found and provided to you guys on this channel, however there are plenty of red flags so I would not do this play myself, definitely not. If I would have to do this, I would be like, all right, it's 0 0.001 dollars. I can throw 100 bucks there. And if it goes to one cent, I have 1000 bucks. I think that's okay. And if I lose 100 bucks, it's not anything crazy. And I can live with it, right? Always. And this, in this case, I think there is, I would say there's bigger risk than the reward. But crypto is on fire and will most likely be throughout the rest of this year and the next years to come because it seems like people and most importantly big companies, hedge funds and such institutions realize the power of a decentralized cryptocurrency and that the government cannot play the game there and they have short hands in that area. And I think from this point of view it has potential but you don't really get actually what this company does because there's like no proof of it, not at all. Maybe I'm missing something out, so let me know down in the comments if I got something totally wrong. But just from my first look and first glance, this doesn't seem like a go-to company like TSNP or SANP. You know, these companies have products, have past, have uh, current, you know, they are very active, they communicate, all, all good signs. But this one doesn't tick any of the boxes. The only one it ticks is that it might be in a good momentum because of crypto. I hope I brought you some value. If I did, definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more upcoming videos. And smash the like button if you haven't done so already. It both helps me out tremendously and motivates me to make more videos. Also, let me know down in the comments below 
what do you think about this company? Are you in it? Are you going to get in? Are you going to pass on this one? I'm all ears. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.